Christmas and the birthday picnic. All the engines on the island of Sodor were very excited. Sir Topham Hatt's mother was coming to the island to celebrate her birthday. The engines chuffed up and down to get ready for the big day. On the big day, Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. Tooted Thomas quickly. Boom, Sir Topham Hatt. Later, Thomas puffed proudly into Knapford Station with Annie and Clarabelle. He was very excited. Sir Topham Hatt, Lady Hatt, and Sir Topham Hatt's mother were waiting in their best clothes. The station master loaded the picnic baskets and the biggest birthday cake Thomas had ever seen. Thomas smiled. But Sir Topham Hatt's mother wasn't smiling. She looked very stern. She made Thomas feel nervous. Just then, Percy chuffed into the station. Pete Percy? Thomas stopped feeling nervous. This was going to be the best birthday picnic ever. Thomas whooshed and weeshed through the countryside. Annie and Clarabelle clattered and chattered. Everyone was happy. Finally, they arrived at the beautiful Shen Valley. There were woods and streams and green fields. Thomas was sure Sir Topham Hatt's mother would like this. It was the perfect place for a picnic. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother looked at the fields, but they didn't smile. The fields had just been plowed into thick brown mud. Cry Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt sternly. Thomas thought very, very hard, and then he set off. Thomas pumped his pistons even harder to get to the other side of the island. He was puffing to the castle. Chuff Thomas. At the castle station, Sir Topham Hatt spoke to the station master. So Thomas set off from the castle. He rocked and he rolled. He huffed and he puffed. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother were bounced and bumped inside the carriage. Thomas went faster and faster, trying to have another idea. Sir Topham Hatt leaned out of the window. He boomed. Thomas huffed to a halt. Peep Thomas sadly. Boom, Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas hoped he'd have another idea before he got to Knapford. But as he pulled in, not one idea had dropped into his funnel. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother got off the train. And with a low toot, Thomas chuffed sadly back to Tidmouth. When Thomas got back to the sheds, the other engines were waiting. They had heard that Thomas's good ideas had gone wrong moaned Thomas sadly. Pete Percy cheerfully. Gasped Thomas. Thomas let off a big whoosh of steam. Said Thomas. Pete Percy. Percy wanted to whistle cheerfully, but his whistle wasn't working. It was blocked with quarry dust. Said Gordon, and he blew a long, low note chirped Emily, and she gave two high toots. Tooted Henry. Thomas toot tooted. The other engines were puzzled. Thomas beamed. Sir Topham Hatt, his wife, and his mother were sitting sadly in the living room when the station master rang. When they arrived in Knapford, they could hardly believe their eyes. There were banners and balloons and fine food and the birthday cake. Thomas gave one two. Then one after the other, the engines hooted and tooted, whistled and blew, happy birthday to you. And for the first time all day, Sir Topham Hatt's mother smiled from ear to ear. 
smiled Sir Topham Hatt's mother. Boom, Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas was delighted. 